So the beauty of Android is that you can fully customize your device to fit your needs in any which way you want, right? So I made a video about my Star Trek launcher on my Galaxy Z Fold 4, and a bunch of people was hitting me up and say, hey, easy. That's a little too complicated. Well, I have another launcher for you guys that, that I'm testing out. And it brings me back to the old days. Look at these Windows phones, right? Back to my old days of my roots. The Windows Phone UI was one of my favorite, and I have a couple of them in my collection. So what I did was I decided to put not one, but two launchers on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, these launchers here is fully customizable, and it's inspired by a YouTuber that I watch all the time. I subscribe to His name is Mark. I will leave his YouTube link down in the description below because he inspired me to make this video. But I got two launchers running on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. Let me explain how I did it, and let me give you my thoughts about it. Sit back and relax, and get your popcorn ready, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I have the Windows Metro running on my cover display on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. And when I open it up, right, when I open it up, I have Windows 11, right, launcher is running, fully customized with all the apps that I need and I use all the time. So when you look at the cover display here, right, I have tiles, a few widgets, and each app that I have is fully customizable with size and color, and it works very well and it runs very well. So when you open up the device up to the bigger display, you greet it again to another customized Windows 11 layout. Right, and this launcher here is really nice. Now I'm running two launchers. So let's talk about it a little bit. Here at the top, I have what's called my PC. Uh, this PC, so when I open it up, you get all your files, your audio, your downloads, your documents, your photos, you got your local storage and stuff like that, which is really neat. And I got some apps here, but at the bottom here, you have your Windows icon. When you press on it, you greet it to your pin apps, Right, you also have all apps, right? Uh, then you have your recent apps, which is really nice. Here at the bottom, you got your power button, you have a personal button, you have a settings button, a picture button, a subscription button here, right? You have a subscription button. And yes, to unlock the full potential of this app, it's a premium service between $1.99 for a year or $4.99 for a lifetime. And lastly, you do have a resizable button if you want to resize this window screen right here, right? So that is really nice. Now here at the bottom, you got a Windows dock uh, where you can pin anything, your everyday uh, apps that you use, you can pin it right there for easy access, for easy use. Okay, so right here, you got your contacts, Wi-Fi, you have your volume button, also you have your battery stack, you have your uh, date, time, also you have your notification, right here with a lot of customized stuff here, like Windows 11, right? Just like your Windows 11 PC which is really nice. So if you are a Windows user, the Galaxy Fold, right, is great for you with this launcher. You'll be right at home. Okay, so let's talk about how I set all this up. As I stated earlier, I'm running two launchers, one for the cover display and one for the inner display. Now there's two apps that you have to download. I will leave those links down in the description below. The first app is called Square Home and the other app is called WinX Launcher. Again, I will leave those apps down in the description below. Also, you need to use what's called Bixby Routines. Yes, you have to use Bixby on this. So <laughs> after you download both apps, you want to go into your settings on your device. Click on apps, then click on choose default apps, right? And then click on home app, 
right? And then choose Windows X Launcher as your default launcher. It's the first thing you got to do. Now, at this point, you could be done. You can use the Windows 10, 11 launcher on both displays, but the magic of this is that you can customize the cover display. Now, for your inner display, if you want to set it up, you have to use what's called Bixby Routines to set this up, right? So set up your Bixby Routines. You have to open up Bixby Routine, and you have to add a routine. Click on If and find what's called Folding Status, Choose completely, choose co close completely, right? Next, just click on then and choose the app, what's called the Square Home Launcher on then. Then you're done. Now you have the Metro UI on your cover display. And when you open it up, you have Windows 11 running, right? So that's how you get two launchers running on the same time, right? One for the cover display, one for the inner display, but you do have to use if and then on, book, on the Bixby routine in order to make this work. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons doing this method. First, it requires time to customize your app till you like it. Got to put some time in. Now, since I'm using two launchers, it's kind of double the time that you have to customize each icon. It is very simple to do, but it requires time to set it up to your liking. So yes, you will love this launcher boat launches the Metro style UI and Windows 11 UI on your inner display. All right, so let's talk about some of the cons, right? And that would be Bixby, right? Your Bixby setup routines, unfortunately, will only work half the time. I mean, it will only work half the time. So what I did was I put a WinX button here, right? So when I open it up and it, Again, here we go. Big speed not working. So I just click on here and now I got my Windows 11. And sometimes when you close it, uh, sometimes it doesn't work that well. As you can see, the big routine doesn't work that well. Just so you know. Uh, so you definitely have to be a little patient with this uh, UI because if you want to use two launchers and you're trying to use Bixby routine to set this up for you, is definitely not the best. So you got to keep that in mind. So I do have an icon here. So when I press it, open it up, boom, I'm good to go. Or uh, when I go back home, I can press it here, boom, there I go. All right, so you could do it that way. I know it's an extra step, but it's something if you want to have the Metro UI uh, on the cover display and then have Windows 11 on your inner display. Unfortunately, Bixby, uh, routines is not that great. So it may work half the time. Next, let's talk about Batter Life. Batter Life doesn't take a hard hit here. Just like with any other launcher, you you will take a little hit, but your usage may vary when it comes down to Batter Life. So that's it. That's it. There you go, right? Windows Metro UI here on your cover display and Windows 11 on your inner display. That's what I'm talking about. Look, if you want to see my Star Trek uh, tutorial that I did on my Z Fold 4, click the video right here, and I'm going to be right in the comments having some fun with you. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.